This is Skywatch Media News for the second week of May 2018. A few days ago, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake, followed by strong tremors, struck the big island of Hawaii. It was the strongest seismic event for the Hawaiian Islands in the past 43 years. The series of earthquakes, totaling some 750 in a span of just seven days, has unleashed a tremendous lava flow from the active Kilauea volcano in the event that has triggered the evacuation of thousands of residents in the eastern zone of the volcano's summit. The movement of the earth also resulted in the receding of water of some coastal areas along the Big Island. There's been much talk lately about the sun entering into a phase or a cycle called Grand Solar Minimum. Some of you who frequent this channel are quick to comment that the lack of solar energy is what is causing volcanoes to erupt and the earth to shake more frequently. But if you are honest with your observations, then you must also consider that other factors are in play that are not necessarily known or revealed to the public. You may be interested in knowing if cosmic rays are intensifying across the Earth. Something is certainly happening to our magnetic field. Scientists long argued that the field that surrounds the Earth is breaking down. It is collapsing, allowing more damaging radiation and cosmic particles from deep space to enter our atmosphere. The data collected from space weather balloons indicates that the amount of stratospheric radiation between March of 2015 and January of this year indicates the strong presence of stratospheric radiation, which appears to be getting worse. A magnitude 6.9 earthquake, followed immediately by an explosive lava eruption of Kilauea's volcanic crater, is an event that is very rare on the island of Hawaii. It is apparent that the cosmic ray flux is associated with solar magnetic activity. As the solar wind surges towards the Earth, the magnetic field then repels the charged particles of cosmic rays that could originate from outside of our solar system. Some volcanoes react more violently to the cosmic ray influx than others. This is due to the mineral content of their magma. Volcanoes that are silica poor will produce non-explosive eruptions. The Kilauea magma appears to contain much more silica, which is a compound made up of quartz and oxygen-rich minerals which tend to correlate with a time period when solar activity is low and when increased cosmic rays trigger a more violent reaction within the lava dome with the silica-rich magma. Another factor involved in the uptick in volcanic activity is the perturbation occurring within the Earth's axis, resulting in a rotational slowdown. We know that the seasons are influenced by the axis of rotation, either tilting away or towards the sun. But even a small perturbation could bring about significant changes on the surface of the planet and also with the Earth's core. Changes within the Earth's rotation rate tend to be followed by an increase in global volcanic activity. But alterations in the rotational spin of a planet would require a tremendous amount of energy, which would be delivered by outside forces, such as the presence of planetary bodies that are capable of magnetic interference. The extra energy produced by the cosmic influx then induces great stress on the Earth's subsurface, causing a rotational slowdown while affecting volcanic motion. Scientists are warning that seismic activity will become exponentially more intense and more destructive in 2018 and in the foreseeable future. The natural disasters that are inflicted upon the planet in recent years are indicative of a world that has entered into a time of climatic instability. 
experts are placing blame on the human race for what has come upon us. The accumulation of greenhouse gases and its role in a warming planet. If you actually believe their analysis that we are the cause, then you must also be willing to consider other reasons. If the days are getting longer by one or even two seconds, then the rotation of the Earth around its own axis must be slowing down. This most certainly explains why there is an instability or an inconsistency in the Earth's energy balance. A weakening of the Earth's magnetic field began a downward trend in the late 19th century, followed by a drop in the speed of rotation in the late 1980s and the early 1990s, which then accelerated the weakening of the field. The slightest slowdown in the Earth's rotation releases a great deal of heat, more so than any amount released by human industrial activity. If our planet operates according to cosmic cycles and galactic positioning, then Earth may be facing another great flood, similar to the one that occurred 4,300 years ago, according to many scholars. The myths and the legends of many peoples, including that of the biblical text, have recorded the event. Cosmic cycles, therefore, are very important in the development of civilizations today, just as they were in ancestral history. The changes that are taking place are altering the Earth's magnetic field with the northern magnetic pole shifting towards the eastern part of the Arctic Ocean. This is not something that will happen sometime in our distant future. It's happening now, and it's happening at a quick pace. Furthermore, this change in the Earth's magnetic field is accompanied by strong magnetic storms, by earthquakes, and by disastrous atmospheric events caused by a change in the circulation of oceanic waters and in the atmosphere. The collapse of the magnetic field then leads to a breakdown in the ozone layer of our atmosphere, which alters the amount of radiation that is allowed to reach the Earth's surface. If the temperature then rises, glaciers begin to melt, the ice sheets break down and give way, and sea level begins to rise. This would be the beginning of a transitional process. Then for a period of time, the magnetic field would begin to stabilize. Rotational speed would slowly increase, which would lead to a period of abnormally cold conditions on Earth, and glaciers would regain much of the mass that was previously lost. Nature, in essence, is a balancing act. Too much energy input and the equilibrium is gone and the negative imbalance begins to become a dominant factor. Something is definitely taking place in space, within our solar system, which ultimately affects the welfare of civilization due to the real possibility of a major climatic upheaval and of conflicting Earth changes. As I previously mentioned, Scientists are warning us that there could be a big increase in devastating earthquakes around the world this year and in subsequent years. And from the likes of what we see happening, their predictions are seemingly accurate. The cause of this sudden increase in seismic activity, according to the experts, lies in the variations of the speed of the Earth's rotation, most notably in tropical regions similar to the event that recently took place in Hawaii. The correlation between Earth's rotation and earthquake activity is strong and suggests there is going to be an increase in the numbers of intense earthquakes, somewhere in the range of 25 to 30 intense events in the predictive time period, which when compared to the uh, relatively smaller number of major earthquakes in 2017, would suggest that the slowdown in rotation must have begun within the past few years. 
Now, it's worth noting that changes within the Earth's core could also be linked to the rotational slowdown and the uptick in seismic activity. The only sticking point in the recent predictions lies in the actual or likely cause of the increase, as I suggested earlier. Although we know it is difficult to predict the timing of earthquakes, it is interesting that many of the seismic events that have responded to changes in the rotation of the Earth and the subsequent changes in the length of a day seem to occur near the equator in the Earth's tropical regions, which is home to one billion inhabitants. The situation in Hawaii with the Kilauea volcanic eruption continues to worsen. Local authorities on the Big Island are warning residents of weeks or even months of upheaval. As of May 7th, 11 fissures have emerged and 30 homes have been destroyed. The flow of lava has intensified. Authorities are also warning about dangerously high levels of sulfur dioxide that are present in the area. Areas down slope of erupting fissures are at risk of lava inundation. As lava inundates the heavily forested area, organic matter burns and releases methane. That methane gas can get trapped in pockets beneath lava flows or underground and explode out violently, throwing rocks and debris in every direction. The lava lake level has dropped an estimated 722 feet since the collapse of the crater on April 30th. The magma is moving eastward towards Puna. Earthquake activity in the summit remains at elevated levels. Scientists in charge of the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory warned distressed residents that eruptions could last much longer and earthquakes and aftershocks could continue for days, even weeks.
Seismic activity is steamrolling along in recent weeks. A rare magnitude 4.6 earthquake struck the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of 6 miles, about 160 miles southeast of New Orleans, on May 6. Initially reported as a magnitude 4.9, the earthquake was later downgraded to a 4.6. The Gulf has been considered a zone of low or no seismicity, although there is an area along the southwestern Gulf which is exposed to the Cocos Plate where seismic movement could occur. The last earthquake to strike the Gulf of Mexico was nearly 12 years ago in September of 2006. And so, my friends, as you look to the sky for guidance, Seek also to enlighten and enrich all that surrounds you. Know that your mind is a great asset. It was given to all people to weigh facts, to come to individual conclusions, and to make personal decisions. This is how you can develop a sound mind. The spirit of truth will guide you into all truth, for which your character shall shine forth in these troubled times. Thanks for watching.